Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 18th video in Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you installation and configuration of remote desktop services so we have three types of remote desktop services basically in Windows Server 2012 or 20, uh, 2016 so the first one is remote desktop where you can see multiple user uh, concurrent uh, concurrent accessing the same machine means we have we have one virtual machine and all the users are accessing the same virtual machine at a time like we like we have a windows server 28 uh, 2008 or 2012 machine on our rds server and all the users are accessing the same virtual machines so this is the one scenario and second scenario is virtual desktop like one machine one machine for a single user so all the users have their own dedicated virtual machine which is running on a remote desktop services so here you can see on um, picture also so each user have de their dedicated machine uh, for using and the next is remote desktop application where access access to the application hosted in remote machine remote machine only no desktop infrastructure means the application is published on remote desktop services server where it's hosted and all the users are accessing the same application on the same time which is uh, which is hosted on windows rds server so same same you can see compared to zen app or zen desktop or horizon shoot so this is the infra which we are going to do uh, and and in this video i am focusing on remote application deployment which is the uh, last option so here is my infra you can see uh, i am using three virtual machine to give you this demo the first machine virtual machine is win 2 k 16 dc01 which is basically uh, active directory and dns server in my infra so here you can see uh, the server name local server win 2 k 16 dc01 and domain name is victimfasol.com if you go on dashboard you can see uh, ad and active directory and dns is running on this machine so this is my um, domain controller and the second one is win 2 k 16 rds01 which is my rds server which uh, which is going to provide the remote desktop services for users so you can see it's a, i have assigned 16 gb ram to this machine so here is the machine you can see when took a 16 rds01 this is uh, this is joined in my domain which is victim for soul and you can see the ram and i have i have two drives here in my server c drive and d drives you can see so this is uh, what we have on rds server and last machine is windows 8.1 client machine which is joined in my domain you can see it's join in my domain and if you want to ch see the very uh, details you can see uh, it's um windows 8.1 enterprise version and it's joining my domain so here's the all three virtual machines so let's do step by step to install a, a rds server remote desktop services and publish the remote application so here we have you can see i have installed ms office on this machine if you go you can see word powerpoint publisher and and excel these these uh, powerpoint these things on my machine so we will we will um, uh, install the uh, RDS services and we will publish these applications. So to install the remote desktop services, go to manage and add role and features. Here we have a next, and you can see we have two options here: role based, feature based, and the next one is remote desktop services. So I'm going to do this. Select this remote desktop services installation. Click next, and now we have a three option here: remote desktop services, which is configured. So if if you look on first this is a standard deployments allow you to deploy remote desktop services across multiple servers and if you go on second quick a quick allow you to deploy remote desktop services on a s on one server and create a collection and publish application program so i'm going to use this one because uh because i just want to install a, a one server so it's good for me and click next and then we have also if you select this you have option for both so so i'm going to put on everything on on one server if if you have a multiple server where you want to put this these roles uh, rds connection broker web uh, and these things then you can say go for for that so and it, as this is a demo so i'm going to use a quick quick start and click and now we have a virtual machine desktop deployment and session session based desktop deployment and session based desktop deployment you can see session based desktop deployment allow allow users to connect to session uh, collections which is created on 
created and published on some of the machines so I am going to use the same machine to publish application so click next and now we have a server information which we are going to do use in this scenario for for you can see RDS connection broker web access and RDS session host so I'm going to use the same server for all so click next and now wait for a few seconds it will validate the settings which we have so we are good to go and you can see everything is going to install on win 2 k 16 rds01 victorinfosol.com that's the roles which are going to install rds connection broker rd web access and rd session host so select this restart the session because during the installation server required few reboots so go ahead and click on deploy now you can see all the three are pending and we'll then start for remote desktop services role services installation so it's initiated you can see it's now status is installing so uh, the installation of these role can take uh, like three to five minutes so need to wait for a few minutes here we have to now you can see the server is restarting So we are good to log in now and put the credential to log in. We have RDS admin account and password for that account. And wait for the server manager, it will uh, restart the installation once again by itself. So we have to wait for a few seconds. now you can see the status is configuring so it's configuring the remote desktop services on this server win2k16 uh, rds01 almost done it will take few more seconds So now you can see the succeeded remote desktop services role installation is succeeded and now it's creating the session connection. So it's it's also done and now remote app program it's publishing the remote application the default application it will create some default uh, default application group so it's working on it. Um, we are done and now you can see everything is succeeded and we have one link here connect to RD web access we have one uh, URL here you, you can copy this URL or you can click on it you can see it's taking up to a, a like HTTPS page so which is not 
secure because we don't have installed any any certificate. So log into he the server RDS RDS admin and put the credential for RDS admin. And you can see few few default application is published there. So if you want to launch them, you can click on these icon and application will launch automatically. You can see it's working. Now you can see it's on. Um, giving us one RDP file so just click on open you can see the status here the remote desktop is connected and same we can verify on client machine so let's verify everything on client machine so we need to access this path when 2k16 hyphen rds web uh, rd web and wait for server to reply the home login the screen so click and continue to this website and now we need to put the credential there the user id like vector info soul and user 01 user ID and put the password for this account now you can see connected to remote dex remote application and desktop connection good to know save the password if you want to save okay so now we can launch any application if you see if I double click on it it will showing the remote uh, computer on which this application is published and we have a path and every detail and password is for use the use the following credential to connect the machine so we are good to go and click on connect now you can see it will launch the application from that server only so soon we will have a session there so wait for a few seconds and now you can see the word doc wordpad is launched and same you can do with any other application like paint we can launch so launch the paint as well as from here so now you can see the application is launching like these application are installed on my local machine so also you can launch calculator another application too so you can see calculator also launched so you can see here a small icon given which is showing the application is launched from remote machine so also if you want to see the session what's going on on server you can minimize this and you can see if you open the task manager you can see we have a session for user one also and we have launched a uh, paint and word and these application also if you want to modify the application publishing you can you need to go to remote desktop services and there we have a collection here you can go and edit the collection detail on edit property like you can call it and default remote application and on here we can go ahead and you can see we have uh, enabled this storage also we can uh, we can enable the user profile disk uh, by using this we all the all the users are going to have their one uh, one folder home folder on their like given path only so so you can set the path so I'm going to set the path for local machine on a D drive so call it like users home RDS and let's copy this path and you can put here and click apply are done with this and it will take some time to apply the settings and then we can change the publish application also 
so we are done with this and now if you go here on task we have a publish a remote app application so now you can see re retrieving a list of remote application and available for publishing so it will search the all the application which is installed on our current operating current server rds server and here you can see we have excel we have OneNote, PowerPoint, Publisher, these are the application we have and Word so we can select them and next and now we can cl simply click on publish to publish this application and these all application going to reflect on uh, RD, RD uh, uh, basically where we are accessing the application from remote app so here we we will got all the applications so let's close these all no I don't want to save anything we have only three application if we are done with publishing and now we ha we have to turn eight application which is published just go ahead and refresh this screen you can see all the application is there just click on any application like word to launch this word file so wait for this so word is started and if you want to launch any other application you can go ahead and launch like we're going to use PPT this time and Excel also so now once the session is established with a remote desktop uh, server then you are able to launch the all the application like the, those applications are installed on your machine only now you can see the Excel is also launched so this is all about how to how to publish application how to install a, and configure remote desktop services and re uh, publish remote application from a server so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye